Okay, there's a lot of things I like about gaming, but it's something that I still want. So I'm going to do super fast top five things I want in gaming. Now this can be old, new, or pretty much something that people haven't thought of before. So let's get started. Number five, in-app purchases. Okay, hear me out. Say you just bought a new game. You're eagerly excited to play it. You put it in or download it. I, I don't know what you prefer, but still, you play for a little bit. It's all fun and games. And then you realize there's like so much in-app purchases. Now, don't get me wrong. Some in-app purchases are really cool, but sometimes this is really expensive. Okay, an example. It was a long time ago. I was on our Xbox 360, and then I found the shirt for $5. Five dollars. I might as well go to my local drift store and get an actual shirt that I can physically wear. I know some of you may be thinking, what's wrong paying for a shirt? It's not that bad. No, you're paying for a computer program, not an actual shirt. You want to know what else sucks? If you sometimes don't pay for a game, it will actually be harder. Now this barely happens in consoles and PC games, but it especially happens in mobile games. Okay, now let's talk about DLC. Now DLC is better, but still kind of annoys me is like day one DLC or something like that. Why? Because it's still in the game's files. I, and I don't mean day one DLC. What I really mean is if the DLC is still in the game's files, on the same day or close around that day then it's not truly DLC how I see DLC if the DLC comes out and now all of a sudden it's in the game's file that is DLC in my book shoot I know other games did stuff like this like Splatoon but it was only one time they truly charge you so they get a pass on my book so instead of getting a game for $60 or less you're pretty much paying like probably three hundred dollars or more at that point you might as well just get a new console or whatever you're playing on now I'm not saying that companies need to get rid of all this stuff and I know making games is a lot of money and it takes a lot of time but I'm just saying mm -hmm. they can try to be at least a little bit more fair with some of this paid stuff in games that's just me. Number four, downloads. Or what I should say, how long it takes to download or install or whatever. And sure, I know when technology advances more, games will get bigger. But why does it take a couple hours or a couple days to finish installing or whatever? Now it's two reasons why this happened. One, that certain things on the disc or on the download is not done and still need to get stuff. Well, one thing that doesn't make sense to me, why release it on that day if it's just truly not done? Now, the second reason why this happened, because a console needs a certain update and the game has that specific update on the disc. So when you try to play the game, it will try to update the console, which I have to say, that's a really smart idea. That makes more sense than waiting like forever to play your own game. And sure, I do miss old consoles when you put the game in it automatically loads. Sure, it won't load a hundred percent of the time, but I'd rather take that 90% chance than waiting forever to play my game I just got. Just saying, it can be a little bit faster. Number three. You know what? Hold that thought. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look at this game. Oh my god. It comes with a manual. And it's in color. Oh, look at this. I could probably use this for online. Well, if it still existed. Oh my god. It looks like they put so much effort into the packaging. This is so cool. And oh my god. This game was so much fun. I can't wait to dive in and play. What? What? Where is everything? Now, I'm not saying that game companies need to have game manuals or stuff like that. 
shoot, I know why they don't do it anymore. But I think sometimes you need to have something else besides the game or whatever. And sure, I know about special editions, but still, old games in the past, that felt like special editions, but even they wasn't special editions. I mean, look, this game comes with a map. A map! I didn't know Naughty Dog liked the Door Explorer. And I know the internet is a big part why it don't have game manuals or anything like that. I'm not saying they need to bring back game manuals, but having something extra doesn't hurt from time to time. Okay, number four. I want video games to be harder. Now, not hard to the point that you break your controller, but hard enough to actually kind of give you a challenge. Okay, say you're playing a game and you die, but the next five, ten seconds later, you respawn like nothing happened. You're like, okay, might as well just continue on the level. Now, I'm not saying that lives need to come back, but I think it should have an option for that. But you know, sometimes I really hate I hate how developers have an extra hard mode, but all they really did is add a couple more enemies and change the level design a bit. Just because you change a little bit doesn't mean it's hard. Shoot, that works sometimes, but not every time. Well, I think game developers should have an easy mode, like, you know, pretty easy, and have a medium difficulty, like make some things harder, change other things, you know, Heart mode maybe have a life system, maybe a game over, who knows. An expert? Well, let's not talk about expert mode for right now. Number five, I want cheat codes back really badly. And yeah, I understand why they don't have cheat codes anymore because you can just look up how to beat the game and stuff. But still, it was fun to use them. Now, the main reason why we suck at old video games, not because we suck in general, it's usually because developers like to be jerks sometimes. And still, instead of playing the full game, it doesn't hurt to skip to the final boss sometimes. And another reason why they don't have cheat codes anymore because modders can just mod the game. Like it doesn't take that long to change the code a little bit. But still, not everyone is a PC gamer. And not everyone have the money to buy a powerful PC. So, that's that. But enough of my rambling. I'm just gonna play me again. What? Error occurred. Well, time to break another controller then. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Sorry if this video was a little bit less animated. I was working on other projects at the time. You can kind of tell because the beginning wasn't my strongest. And also, I if I didn't get credit to some of the people, I didn't mean to. I was just doing so much editing and yeah. Also, videos may come out a little bit later because life and stuff but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video comment like and subscribe have a good day goodbye